Welcome to today's, tonight's shave, Stubble Buster Moxie Scent. It's my first time trying it out and I got it in today. And uh, pineapple, cactus, and sandalwood is kind of the tagline there. I don't get a lot of sandalwood out of it. Um, I guess it's just kind of a background ingredient. But my nose is not the greatest. So that's just a layman's nose. Um, pineapple and cactus, I guess. I guess I smell a little bit of pineapple if you were to tell me about it. And uh, it's mainly like a floral fruity. Um, not a super sweet fruity, but more of a sweet floral, if you will. So it's not a really masculine fragrance. Um, it's pleasant. But uh, I think it's kind of unisex, um, not all that masculine. So I'm a little disappointed in that regard, but hey, let's try it out. It is at the uh, $9 price point, and so I'm excited to have an entry into that. Um, it's made by the um, folks that make Chiseled Face, a groomatorium. And... Um, uh, and so I'm pretty sure the quality is going to be great because I love chiseled face soaps. <clears throat> I have a Rockwell 6S. I'll be using the 3 plate. You normally I use the 2 4 plate. Uh, I start out with the 4 and if I feel the need to go milder on my neck, I'll switch to the 2 and go with the 3 because the 4, I don't know, with this Sputnik blade, um, the 4 just seemed a little rough. I'm going to try with a 3 with the Sputnik because yesterday's shave was with a fat boy on setting number 4 out of 9 and it was a great smooth shave and I was I was contrasting that with my Rockwell on a 4 um, but it's 4 out of 6 so it's different and so I said let's mildify my Rockwell setting and see if it starts to come close to that smoothness of my fat boy. Uh, I'll add water to the lather in a educated, calculated, graduated sort of way. Um, for about six minutes I've had this silver tip Virginia Ching Badger brush soaking. It's a knot from Virginia Ching that I put in a maggard handle. I have hard water and it's cold water. Let me go ahead and splash my face with some water. I don't do a whole lot of face prep. <clears throat> Maybe someday I'll start doing that, but right now just to just get my face wet. All right. Now the uh, other piece of equipment is the bowl. I'll be bowl lathering today. I usually do that. This is Dollar Tree, and. Uh, there is a little bit less than a quarter of a teaspoon of product. It's a soft soap. Um, it's kind of a, uh, uh, almost like a grayish tan uh, color. Almost looks like mashed potatoes. And it's very soft. Um, scooped out with zero problems was uh, then when I hooked out of my measuring cup measuring a spoon I hooked it out with my finger it's very slick so that's encouraging I'm sure it's going to be great so let's do it I'm going to shake almost all the water out of my uh, silver tip and then let's just go ahead and start rubbing on it These Stubble Buster soaps, all the descriptions on the site says they are light to medium scented in terms of strength. I can smell it right now as I'm mixing it up. It's not strong, but I can still smell it. That's good. Oh, that's interesting. It's less, kind of less floral. Um, 
I know, I did say sweet floral. It's not like jasmine floral, it seems. It's more like a sweeter floral, which puts it in the kind of asexual camp. Not masculine, but at least it's not super feminine. Now, how about this? Minimal water. And we've already got a, a paste on the brush. Well, it's a soft, it's a very soft soap. Maybe that comes with the territory. I'm not experienced enough to know that. Wow. Uh, so let's fill up a two teaspoon measure here. Since it's already so wet, I'm not going to add a half a teaspoon at a time like I usually do. Um, in YouTube, there's a feature where you can go into the settings of the video player, change the playback speed. While we build up this lather, it may be good of you to do that so you don't have to watch it real time. I'm going to go ahead and add a half. Well, there we go. Let's fill that uh, soaking cup back up with water. I have a small sink area here. So this lathers up quickly. Um, I guess the natural competitors to this uh, soap aren't really going to be those $20 tubs, but the Perrazzo and the Sella um, Lather could be, from Barrister Men, could be considered a competitor, but they are phasing that out, so in a way it's not. doesn't do too much good to compare it to Lather. So, um, look at that spikiness. Add another half teaspoon of water. This brush is, this knot is kind of new. Let's get that hair out of there. Um, shoot, it might even be on 20 uses. Something like that. Pretty young. Looks like I'm not going to have a problem. I can smell it from here, so that's nice. I was a little concerned because of the description that it would be a little too light. But I can smell it from here, so at least there's that. Now it's going to be a lot less concentrated by the time I finish adding all the water, though. Let me show you how where we are for now. Plenty in the bowl. Um, a good sheen on it right now. Add another half teaspoon. We've got almost two teaspoons in there. It looks really good. Um, if you haven't done the reading, they, they modeled um, their fragrances about half a dozen or more scents that they are bringing with this line and uh, they modeled them after classic uh, fragrances I believe this one is Claiborne Curve Claiborne, Claiborne for Curve for Men or Claiborne for Men Curve and it's not designed to be a copy but just similar is what I read And there are other ones that are similar, um, where they are uh, have similar traits as to some popular fragrances. Okay, so now we have two and a quarter teaspoons of water. I am using cold water. And it is hard water. It 
it is winter so cold water is what comes out of the tap cold water is what I'm using look at that guy beautiful nice sheen still a little too dry I think Um, since the scent strength was mentioned as, as low to medium, I, even though they had a nice price point of just $9, I decided to only order this one. So this is kind of a trial. I might check out a couple more of them because they're such a good price. Depending on how this guy goes. From the looks of the lather, it looks really nice. I could definitely go ahead and start shaving with that if I wanted, but he's a little too wet. He's got a great sheen on him. I don't know if you can see it or not. I like that. Take a look at his the peaks here. Ah, we, we already have long peaks. It's not collapsing in on itself. It's, it's long, but it's staying firm. Not even jiggling really too much. Now this, uh, let's do a quick finger test on it. Nice and creamy. I am feeling the uh, the ridges of my fingerprints. It's got some good slickness to it. Not a whole lot of cushion at this point, now, and I may not know what I'm talking about. But what I kind of mean is creaminess there, a little bit of a, a, a border between the two fingers, you know. Um, so I may just put a little bit more water in here and stick and then stop because I don't want to over water. Sometimes the, uh, the peak test there will tell me when to slow down and then the finger test will help me know when to stop with some soaps because... If they don't feel creamy between my fingers, then they, um, the slickness starts to get a little watery instead of uh, soapy. Then I know that it might be time to stop. And besides, uh, you know, we can't compare, fairly compare, this soap with a, you know, $20 bottle, a tub of soap or an expensive puck of soap because it's just it's not the same ah, another hair it's just not the same they don't have the same ingredients sure looks like it's going to be nice though so let's let's look at our peaks again oh ah uh, see a little more flexible a little longer than it was before. Let's just go ahead and shave with this and see what happens. It might be a little more thick than I usually. The better soaps, I can push a little bit farther past this um, and be great. So let's do, we're just going to stop here, be safe. We'll know next time if we can go further than this. Plenty. Let's scoop it all out show you still got a one or one and a half passes in there and then a little size comparison here big old wad of shaving soap all right moxie let's see what you got re-wet my face
This brush is a real lather hog. I may have to dip back in. A little scrubbing, clean up the face, clean those hair follicles, maybe get the hair to kind of stand up a little bit. back in there and get a little bit more probably don't need it actually it's kind of starting to look pretty good So most people are probably not going to hydrate their lather as much as I just have. So this will be a good test about how far you can go with this particular soap. It's looking good. I'm no expert, been doing it for a few years. Oh, there we go. That's the smoothness. The uh, Sputnik just didn't really like head base plate number four for some reason. For me, at least. Three is. Smooth like butter. So the lather is rinsing cleanly from the razor head. Using a very light touch on the neck. The side of my neck it's where I have to be careful everywhere else it kind of doesn't matter too much what I do lather feels really good like it's performing doing its job properly um, this blade is on its um, fourth maybe fourth or fifth use doing really well it's a great first pass um, I'm shaving off uh, 24 hours of beard growth I think I'm glad I stopped where I did with the water. Let's load up for number two. I think it was just right as long as you want a really hydrated uh, slick shave. Not quite as much cushion as you might get if you kept it a little drier, perhaps. Get a little bit more from the, the bin.
Am I smelling anything right now? Not really. Obviously, if I stick my nose in it, I smell it. Not really smell it. I mean, I'd say a 0.5 out of 10 in terms of scent strength while in use. Uh, there's something, maybe that sandalwood, something earthy that comes out when it's in lather form uh, that you don't get smelling the dry, uh, the dry soap. And so I like that. It's a little more manly. Yeah, I do prefer that. But unfortunately, I'm not really getting too much of it while it's on my face here. But yeah, I am definitely getting the performance I kind of expected from the folks at Groomatorium. Chiseled Face, really like their products. Midnight Stag, Sherlock, two of my favorites. And their Ghost Town Barber, yeah, I don't really like the barbershop scents. But if I were to pick one, that might be the one I would pick. Cross grain. A little bit of blade feel. Very nice. Feels very controlled. Feels terrific. Very smooth. I don't feel in any danger that I'm going to cut myself. But we are on the number three plate, that, so that kind of comes with the territory. It's actually a cross grain pass when I go up and down on my neck. Now, right here, I've discovered I get better results when on the second and third pass, I go from bottom to top. Oh, that's nice. A lot of times when I get to right here, I'm, I'm almost going against the grain, and uh, my skin reminds me that I'm doing that, and it feels irritated. Not quite with this combination of lather, blade, and razor. That speaks well for it. Nice, easy, quick shave. All right. The rinse. A little more than a half rinse, but not quite a full rinse. Left a little bit on the soap on there. Since this is my third pass, I'm going to dip back in and get a little bit more of the lather. Switch to the painting just to smooth out the lather. Nothing offensive in the smell. It's a good, it's a good scent. 
it's just kind of weak but most people probably aren't going to push as much water into it as I have so the scent strength may be a little stronger for most people how much water did I push into it a little bit more than three teaspoons for less than a quarter of a teaspoon of soap um, and that's also why I shake out my brush really well so I can more accurately know the amount of water I'm using looks nice my cheeks are already done to a good level so what I do is I'm checking for my angle I'm doing that same area over again but in a in another with the grain pass just to check that my angle because if I can cut any hairs after two passes like that then I know my angle is perfect otherwise it's not going to get any cross grain here since this hair right here grows sideways light only putting on enough pressure to hold hold it against the skin uh, I'm getting no drag at all so the, the lather is giving me a nice slide nice glide no danger over there sometimes even with a mild uh, head because this muscle right here is, is so much of a hill I will get a little razor burn right there but not so now let's do this is my trouble spot over here if I get razor burn it's usually here if I get hairs that don't get cut that's where they are a little rinse Well, I'm sure that they kept their scents, the scent strength low, so they could save money on those products because they're offering a, an inexpensive soap. Uh, and also, um, the lower strength of those oils, especially sandalwood, it's a strong one, uh, is going to help people with sensitive skin not break out as much. Unfortunately, it means that I don't get to shave with too much of a scent. Um, but it performed really well. I am going to do a touch-up probably, unless all of a sudden I look and there's no hairs. Nah, I need to do a touch-up, yeah. Right there. And it looks like that amount of soap was pretty much exactly what I needed to make up. A little bit extra. So for this one, I probably, if I want maybe one or two passes of, of lather left over, then I might, uh, or just a little bit more cushion there. Maybe I need to go ahead and do a little closer to a quarter of a teaspoon. Still got its gleam. Still got it sheen. Very nice. Well, I tell you what, sensitive skin people. Uh, who are looking for a budget shave soap 
are in for a treat. Performing very well. Very comfortable. Shave. Sputnik isn't even my go-to blade. I think this is the first Sputnik I've tried. Very comfortable. I don't think I have any razor burn anywhere. Feel very protected by the lather, nice slickness. Let's just do that final rinse. See how that slickness comes. If you push it as far as I have, with the water. The uh, slickness I feel on my face after ever, after the third pass or fourth pass, um, it's not as slick as say a Sterling, um, but it's cheaper. Um, I still see uh, some length on a lot of the hairs there. Um, the Henri and Victoria I used last night uh, got closer with pretty much the same effort I just put out. Let's uh, let's just do a little targeted pass right there and see what we can do about those guys. And also remember, Henri and Victoria is a more expensive soap. Just do. Nice and gentle. This is an area where it sometimes, very often, there we go. It's not worth the trouble to go back. Because with some uh, razor and blade combinations, I don't get any more hairs cut off of that area, but I do end up giving myself some razor burn. Very nice close shave. I don't go against the grain because it irritates my skin usually, um, especially on my neck. That's better. That's better. I still see some little tiny bit of length on uh, a lot of the hairs there, but uh, that's a nice close shave. Uh, very enjoyable. Um, good to support. A, uh, some some good soap makers. Um, the scent might the scent strength might be what keep me from buying more tubs um, because I didn't really smell it while I was using it too much. But it's so inexpensive, then might might be fun to try a couple of the other ones because uh, depending on the scent type, more of it might come up to you. This is kind of a more mellow. Uh, it strikes me as more of a. Um, uh, a mellow type scent. There's not too much here that's sharp. Now usually I like that, but in this case it's so mellow that it kind of stays under the radar as I'm using it. Go back into the tub. I can smell it pretty good. So there's that. And I pretty much used up all my lather. So 
a little bit less than a teaspoon when you uh, thin it down like I did. Pushing almost a little over three teaspoons of water into it. Um, that's how far it'll go. Uh, so, next time I could back it off, maybe two and a half teaspoons, see what the result is. Maybe the lather's a little creamier, a little bit more cushion. Um, uh, I can't imagine too much more glide. It was really slick. My face felt really protected. Very nice. I'm going to keep it simple and finish it off with a little bit of post shave balm from Nivea. This is the sensitive. Doesn't have alcohol, so I'm not going to get a sting. Just watched a video from Executive Shaving talking about how you should not put an alcohol based product on your skin right after you shave because of what it does to your your fresh skin your skin has just been shaven it's just been the top layer has been plowed off and if you bring in alcohol in there it just uh, makes it brittle or something you know I think it was on Mantic 59's stream uh, in his collection there and I believe one of his visits to a professional barber giving him a straight razor shave uh, mentioned something similar and um, anyway, an executive shaving guy says if you want to do an alcohol or a cologne right after your shave, then uh, he said put it on the back of your neck. How about that? Or, or in your hair or something, or both, you know, and then you get the scent. But then it doesn't damage, according to him, doesn't do damage to your face. How about that? I guess he was recommending uh, waiting a little while before you put an alcohol-based product on your skin, let your maybe let your face recover, let the balm do its healing work on you. So, uh, or I think somebody mentioned uh, on Mantix stream, um, you can take that alcohol-based splash, mix it with a balm, and put them both on at once, so that you get uh, you don't have that alcohol hitting your face without something healing healing it as it goes so for what it's worth um, there we go uh, no razor burn whatsoever no irritation um, all right the thousand dollar question for a new product what uh, how does it compare with its brethren got a uh, little tub of Sulla right here and um, this I can smell while I'm using it this uh, I, I kind of can't to me that kind of puts this guy ahead uh, both of these guys uh, to me perform about the same um, and so for that reason, I think I probably prefer uh, the Sella because to me, effectively, this is an unscented soap. Um, I can, anytime I want, I can pick up the shaving bowl when it's still got lather in it, put my face in it, and get some scent. But with this, I can smell it while I'm using it. Um, and with the Perrazzo Red, which is the Perrazzo product that I use, I can also smell that sandalwood goodness while I'm using it. I'm not saying this is bad because it uh, the sandalwood doesn't smell. I like the way they did this. They didn't call this stubble buster sandalwood, which is what a lot of people do. They'll make something with sandalwood and they'll call it sandalwood, but you can't even find it in the scent profile with your nose. They put it in the list. I'm sure it's a component, but it's, it's not even first. So I like the way they did that. They're not trying to call it something it's not. Um, I think uh, my nose is not educated enough to actually smell the pineapple unless you tell me there's pineapple in it. And then maybe I can, I, I was able to smell it, I believe. 
Um, I don't know what cactus smells like, and so I can't say anything about that. Um, I, I think maybe I could detect a hint of uh, sandalwood, especially once this lather got wet and I put my nose in the bowl. It, uh, it dampened the, the scent profile a little bit to where I didn't smell as much of the, the fruity, the sweet florals um, as much as, uh, and the, the sand, I believe that sandalwood genre, whatever's there, um, that, that rose up a little bit and I was pleased. I like that. Um, but I just didn't really smell it too much when I was shaving. Um, and so uh, I think the sensitive skin people are going to love this line. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. Um, I think I probably like the Perrazzo and the Sella um, that are both kind of in this same price point. I probably like these, those a little, a little better than the Stubble Buster. Um, but at, at this cost, shoot, I may, I may go and uh, get the other guys um, just to see if one of them uh, maybe is a little stronger or something like that, trips my trigger a little better. At that price point, maybe experiment a little bit. If it doesn't work for you, pass it on to somebody else. Um, pass it on to a new, a new shaver because this is definitely, it's a good base. Uh, nice, nice sheen on it. I would say that it probably performs a little better than the Perrazzo Red, in my memory at least. If it's correct, I'd say this performs a little better, um, but... Um, uh, the scent is just there with the Peraza Red. Not only is it there, but it's one of my favorite scents because I'm a sandalwood purist. I'm a sandalwood in, uh, aficionado uh, fan. And, um, uh, and so that's a scent that I really like. Uh, this is a, a nice scent, um, but uh, I would rather have... And the Peraza Red performs uh, good enough. Um, it's, it's slick. This is also slick, just a little slicker, um, but I'll take the red just to, so I can enjoy the scent. Um, even though I believe this is more of a true soap, I've been educated a little bit. The Peraza Red has chemical ingredients in it that kind of make it behave like a soap. But tell you what, in the end, if I shave with it, it works. It has a it has glide and slickness. I really don't care too much what the chemicals are that that do it. Um, if it, even if it's technically not a soap, according to some people. So great! I'm glad you guys brought this um, brought this soap to the market. Um, I think a lot of people are really gonna really gonna like it, um, especially those people with sensitive skin. I don't think this is gonna bother them at all. Face feels great. I think that's it. Have a good night. Take care. Hope this information helped you in uh, some way. Take care.